In this video, we're going to go over the basics of setting up scenes and sources in OBS for people who are brand new to the program and have no idea what they're doing. Once we get this stuff established and you learn how to set up a scene and a source and things like that, this will give you basically a better understanding of how OBS works and how you can get your webcam and graphics and all that kind of stuff set up so that you can start streaming or creating content in no time. Now guys, as we get started, I want to let you know that I am a live streamer on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Eagle Garrett, so you can swing by there anytime. Let me know if you got any questions or you just want to come hang out with us and have a good time. I've been streaming on Twitch for over four years now. I do it full time as a partnered streamer, and so I just kind of wanted to share some of the like base level stuff that I had to learn when I started streaming that everybody's gonna have to learn at some point and I'm hoping this video will help you start to get your OBS put together all your scenes and sources and that sort of thing these are the two basic elements of OBS that everything else is built on as far as what your viewer is going to see on your stream or in the videos that you're recording so let's switch over to the computer and let me show you exactly what I'm talking about so here we are in OBS and as you guys can see this this camera is the one that showing my face in this OBS but this camera is my main camera so I will probably be looking at both of these off and on I don't know what we'll figure out which one I'm looking at but anyway uh, I'm gonna show you how to add a camera like this Logitech C920 that you see right here up on uh, OBS I'll show you how to add that I'm gonna show you how to add this overlay that we have a, a graphic like this and uh, and then also give you the, the the tips that you need or the points pointers that you need to set up OBS with audio and everything else and once I show you some of these things it'll make sense and then it'll be much easier to add everything else that you need but I do want to say before we get started a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video and is also the place that this overlay that you're seeing right now was made it is placeit.net. Placeit has thousands of mockups and templates for stream overlays, Twitch panels, logos, merch, YouTube end screens, animations, and so much more. Once you find the template you're looking for, you can customize colors, text, and other elements to make the perfect design creation. After that, download it and it's completely yours to use however you want with full commercial license. Instead of spending hundreds of dollars on design work, you can purchase a monthly or yearly subscription to place it and get unlimited downloads. Just use my 15% off discount link in the description below. Huge thank you to Placeit.net for sponsoring this video. Greatly appreciate them and you can get cool graphics for your stream just like this overlay that you see here for 15% off of their monthly or yearly subscription. Link in the description below. It's super, super cheap. We're talking 12 $13, you know, $6 a month if you go for the year long subscription. So super awesome, you guys. Check out Place It. But with that being said, we got to jump in and show you how to do this. So, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go over here and uh, you'll see that I have a scene set up, right? And so we've got a scene, we've got some sources. And the way that OBS works is that everything falls within two categories scenes are your overall, uh, what you see up here, the video, this right up here. This is just a scene. And then the elements that make up this scene are called sources. And so you'll see that we have an image source. We have a video capture source, which is my Logitech C920, which is the camera that I'm using. Very, very popular webcam for streaming. Uh, we have a window capture and a display capture. And the display capture, if I turn these two things off, that is my, my desktop background, right? And so I'm going to show you how to pull these in because um, this is literally what you're going to need for streaming. These are the building blocks for streaming. So how do we do this? Uh, first thing we want to do is add a scene. So we're going to go down here to the bottom left hand corner and click this little plus button. And once we click that, it's going to ask us what is the name of the scene. And so we're just going to call it scene number two and hit OK. And now it takes us to a blank screen. And this blank screen is our canvas. So we're going to click this little plus button. And once we do that, it's going to give us a bunch of different options and video capture device is where you're going to find your webcam. So once you've plugged your webcam into your computer, uh, whatever video capture device you're going to be using, click on video capture device and uh, it'll ask you if you want to create a new video capture device or if you want to use an existing one. Now, my webcam is on here already because I've set it up once before to show you in the beginning of this video, but we're going to add a new one and we're just going to call it video capture device number two or whatever you want to call it. And then we're going to hit OK after we've selected this create new there. Once we do that, it's going to bring you to all of these options and it's going to ask us what capture device do we want to use? Well, we're going to use our Logitech C920 right here our webcam 
pops up, but you'll notice that it only fills up the top left hand corner of the screen, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to um, go to uh, resolution type. We're going to click on that and we want to hit custom and then we want to select the resolution. Now I'm using a base canvas on OBS of 1920 by 1080 and so I'm going to click on that and it's going to fill the entire uh, the entire canvas with my webcam now I'll show you how to change your your canvas of your OBS here in just a minute but OBS, OBS should default to uh, either 720 or or 1080 depending um, and I'll show you how to change it so that you can adjust it to your needs but Anyway, we're going to change it to 1920 by 1080. We're going to match the FPS to the webcam. Now, depending on your video capture device, you're going to have to play around with this setting a little bit. Uh, but 30 frames per second is the auto selected for a Logitech C920. So that's what we're going to leave there. Uh, video format, we're going to leave to any. We're going to leave these two to default. And then we just want to change the buffering to disabled. We don't need it to buffer or to wait on anything. That's going to give us the fastest response time for this webcam. Um, and then... Uh, once we get all that set up, we are going to hit OK. Uh, actually, before we hit OK, one last thing is if your webcam, like mine looks a little looks a little bright and kind of washed out right now. So to adjust this, you're going to click on configure video right up here and move your move this to the side so you can see the video and then it'll bring up these properties and these properties are things that you're going to play around with to adjust the way that your webcam looks and so we're going to first go over to camera control and the biggest adjustment to be made is your exposure if you'll just drop that exposure down by one click a lot of times it will clean up very very nicely so we're going to click that down once then we're going to go over here and we're going to adjust the brightness bring the brightness uh maybe like right up into there contrast we're going to play around with that maybe right there saturation and eh, not too much just a little bit white balance let's see how the white balance looks maybe right in there okay so there we go and if you want it to be sharper you can drop you can drag that sharpness up a little bit sharpen it up just a tad bit there hit apply and now our webcam is looking much better not as not as washed out not as crazy as it was before so once we get all this set up we're gonna hit okay and now we have our webcam added. This is like the, the base thing that you need for streaming, right? Is your webcam and audio. Now, if you're using your webcam's audio, then you can uh, you can set that up by going to your settings and, and I'll show you the audio settings here in just a minute. But since we added a source, a, a video source, if you have a separate microphone, like a USB microphone, you would click this little plus button again and you would go in and you would add an audio capture you could add an audio capture uh, input right here, right? But we're not gonna do that today. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our settings right here. We're gonna click on settings and we're gonna bring open our, all of our settings and we're gonna go down to audio and we want to adjust our, our mic input, right? Our mic input. So we're gonna click on this, we're gonna drop it down. And in this case, we could input either the microphone for our, from our Logitech C920, which is not that good of a microphone, or I actually have a GoXLR plugged in. So I could select a GoXLR, uh, which is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to select this GoXLR. There we go. I'm going to hit apply. And now you'll notice that I've added a mic input right here. There's a mic input going into OBS and you can see my levels bouncing around here, right? And we have a desktop audio right up here, which is going to be the default desktop audio device you're using. You can also change that under settings and then going back to audio uh, right up here. Also desktop audio too. And then you can also do different mics if you want. But the way that we're going to add our audio initially is going to be through this right here rather than trying to add it through this. You can add an audio input capture right here if you want to or an audio output capture you can add all that kind of stuff but that's not really where you control it under your uh, your sources unless you need to be able to turn it on and off under the sources panel for some reason so instead we add it through the settings so that's the only thing that's going to be different with your with your initial setup is that you want to add your audio uh, right here under mic auxiliary audio and then add your audio device or your usb mic or whatever it is there because that's going to give you the actual audio mixer audio volume levels and all that sort of thing so we've added our audio it's bouncing around we've added our video now we could technically go live if we didn't want to have anything on our screen but next thing we're going to do is we're going to go down here and click this little plus and we want to add our overlay let's start out with the overlay so to add an overlay that cool 
webcam border thing that you saw in the beginning of this video, we want to add a uh, um, uh, an image right here. There it is right there. So we're going to click on image. We've saved the image to our computer from placeit.net already. So I've already got the image added, but we're going to act like we're creating image number two, a brand new one, and we're going to hit OK. And it's going to ask us to basically browse for the image. So we're going to hit browse and it's going to pull us up to our graphics. And there is our webcam border template right there. So I'm going to click on that, hit open, and you can see it opened it up in the top left hand corner and I'm going to hit OK. And then I can drag this around by basically just grab, grabbing the little box, any one of these corners, these little boxes in the corners, grab that, drag it down and it's going to snap to the edges there. And now now we've got to set up our overlays here our webcams here you guys can see how these things start to build on each other right so we've got the audio we've got the uh the video and we've got the actual graphics set up we got a stream ready to rock and roll if we're just chatting right now let's say that you're a gamer and you want to add your desktop to this again go down here to sources click on the little plus and we're going to hit um we're going to actually hit either game capture or display capture in this case to show you my desktop I'm gonna hit uh, I'm gonna hit display capture. If you're playing a game though, I would say go ahead and capture the game. But we're gonna do display capture in this case so that you can see my desktop background. And what you're gonna want to do is if you're on a single PC setup, you're gonna want to use display capture for your desktop, and then you're gonna want to use game capture uh, for your game, whatever game you're playing. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a display capture so you can see, and uh, we'll do create new display capture number two hit OK and you can see we've got a little a little streamception here a little uh, desktop inception because it's showing our OBS but we're gonna change that to be display number two which I have a second monitor so I'm gonna change that to monitor number two if you've got a single monitor or a dual monitor PC you want to make sure that it's whatever monitor you're gonna be playing your game on uh, if you're gonna be doing this or showing like you know web pages or things like that but you change it to that monitor you hit OK and now you have got your desktop brought in to OBS now if I want to I could always shrink this down just by grabbing that little box and now I could show what's on my my desktop screen right I could show what's on my desktop screen right over here and I could be talking here right I'd be like and we're gonna do this and we're gonna do this and, and it would show what's happening on my desktop right if I go to open a uh, like a let's say a, a graphic of some sort or a game or whatever it's gonna pop it open right up here and we're gonna be good to go so these are the building blocks of how to set up OBS this is the very very basics so hopefully this has helped you get set up again like I said the only thing you'll need to do differently is go to your settings right here and then go to audio when you're doing a microphone that's the only thing different that doesn't happen under sources but you'll be able to see your audio over here on the right side under the audio mixer and you can see it bouncing around there because I've got this mic plugged into it so hopefully this helps you guys get set up with OBS and this gives you kind of the building blocks and you'll be able to set up your stream set up you know all your stuff to get your stream started. So guys, hopefully this video has been helpful and you can get your OBS set up with all your scenes and sources. If you got questions about this, feel free to swing by my stream at twitch.tv slash Eagle Garrett. I'm live over there every week, I stream full time. So you can come ask me questions in the chat or you can just come hang out with us while we play games and have a good time. Um, but also if you like this video, don't forget to smack that thumbs up button for us and help get this video out to more people who are trying to get started in their content creation journeys. And of course, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to know when videos like this go live also you guys i am uh, in our discord we have a discord community called the flock of over 21,000 people at discord.gg slash flock so if you want to join that uh there's links for all this in the description of this video jump on in we'd love to have you there and on top of that i am on all the social medias twitter instagram tiktok you name it so jump on in there uh you can find me at eagle garrett but guys thank you so much for watching i hope you have a great rest of your day or evening or whatever it is for you and with that being said as always rock on peace out god bless i'll see you in the next one last but not least there's a guy right up here there's a full team up there puffins or there was okay, well, down one down one like a stack of potatoes i down one right over here down one down another one go dude bro he is so Let's mad go. right now he's so mad <laughs> i shot him through a car window